cooking with the vegan zombie. Hey gang, welcome to another episode of Cooking with the Vegan Zombie. It's getting a little cold out there. I've decided I'm gonna make me a big batch of chili. And what goes great with chili? Cornbread. So to get started, we're gonna chop up some vegetables. We got a red pepper, we got some jalapenos, and we got a large onion, a onion. All you gotta do is slice away. You're gonna wanna slice these bad boys up real thin. Now, when you're cutting these jalapenos, you gotta take those nasty little seeds out because they are hot. And there's a good chance that you will burn your mouth right off. And for slicing these onions up, you just gotta cut them in half and make a huge mess. We got our onions in one bowl, we got our peppers in another bowl. So we're gonna saute these vegetables. We're gonna throw our onions in first. We got a saute pan here with medium heat and some olive oil in there. About two tablespoons of olive oil. Once those onions have had a chance to soften up, we're gonna toss our peppers in. Saute these for about five minutes more and then take it right off the heat and let them cool down. There's a heaven above you, baby. Sometimes onions make me cry. Once our vegetables are all sauteed up and ready to go, they're cooling off, we're gonna start our batter. Batter, I just met her. So we're gonna start with all of our dry ingredients. We got three quarter cup of organic stone ground cornmeal, one cup of all purpose unbleached flour, a quarter cup of sugar, three teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon. <laughs> Sorry guys, wandering zombie. You know you can never be too careful in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. As I was saying, one teaspoon of salt. Now, I like to add another heat element, believe it or not, this guy right here adding more heat. I add a ground up chipotle pepper. As long as you have a spice grinder or a magic bullet, you can make this happen. What well, you do? As you take these dried chipotle peppers, you crack them open, you split them up, you get all those seeds that have all that amazing hotness that I can't handle, and get them out of there. Just get them out of there. Now don't go touching your hands or any other part of your body after you work with these guys, or you will die. All you gotta do now is grind it for about 30 seconds. Now, when you're done, you have to be very careful opening this. I had to learn this the hard way. You don't want to breathe this in. Okay, we're safe. Now, six or seven peppers will make about a quarter of a cup of ground up chipotle spice. And I like to use it on whatever I want. According to my calculations, it takes approximately seven or eight chipotle peppers to make a quarter cup of chipotle powder. Here, I'm gonna use two. A one, a two. And we're just gonna whisk that in with the dry ingredients. Just whisk it. Next, we're gonna mix some liquids up. We've got one and a quarter cup of almond milk and three tablespoons of canola oil. Add the liquid to the dry. Mix it and mix it and mix it and mix it until it can't be mixing anymore. What kind of accent is that? Where am I even from? Next, we're gonna grease this baking glass. I like to spread some refined coconut oil up in there, but you can use canola oil, olive oil, or earth balance. Once you got your pan all greased up, you're gonna add the batter to it and even it out as best you can. Now, of course, if you don't want to put the toppings on, you can just pop it in the oven at this point. But I'm gonna throw these sauteed veggies on real quick. These veggies just add a little bit of texture to the top of the cornbread. And when I have it smothered in my chili, it's delicious. Oops, I did it again. So make sure your oven is up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that party going on right here. Okay. Now we just have to pop it in the oven for 20 minutes. Hello, me. 
you some calm bread. All right, folks, it's been 20 minutes and we're ready to take this bad boy out of the oven. We're gonna set it on Mr. Glove and let it cool off for about 15 to 20 minutes. Once it's cooled off, you're ready to flip it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cutting board or some other cookie sheet, anything that's flat. Place it on top of your cornbread pan. And flip. Now we're going to remove the baking glass. And we're gonna take another flat surface. That's right, folks, I said another flat surface. And we're gonna flip it again. We're gonna cut these into little squares. This looks delicious and I can't wait to try it. <laughs> and now, of course, my favorite part is the old taste test. Mmm, that is a flavor explosion with a little bit of heat. Not too much for me to handle. This would go perfect with a nice bowl of John's Vegan Chili, which I happen to have right here. Now what I like to do is put a couple pieces on top, take a fork, stab it down in there and get everything all in one bite. But I don't have a fork. <laughs> here we go. Be careful, it could be hot. You don't eat chili with a fork. Mmm. Nothing warms you up in the middle of winter like a delicious bowl of vegan chili with some cornbread. Now, I'm gonna have a lot of leftovers here, so if any of you wanna come join me and help me eat this chili and this cornbread, I would really appreciate it. It gets so lonely out here. <laughs> and as always, subscribe and survive. And after this bowl of chili, I had to go fix that hole in the door that I just shot. So to chop these guys, <laughs> wasn't this sharp like a week ago? <laughs> we got our onions in one bowl, and we got our peppers, peppers, and we're done. We have a cutting board sandwich. <laughs> Here we go. Nothing warms you up in the middle of winter like a nice bowl of chili with some cold bread. It's so hot. Like, like, this chili is so hot, it's burning my mouth right now. <laughs>